So here we have a virtual camera chasing the player. We're using Cinemachine. If you don't know how to do this, check out my previous video in the playlist. And for this video, we're going to add a camera shake when there's an impact. First, I'm going to go to Cinemachine and create state-driven camera. So here we have a state-driven camera here. We have a new virtual camera that is created within this game object. I'm going to drag the previous camera here. So they're all under the same hierarchy. Let me make it 0, 0, 0. I don't really have to, but I'm going to do it anyways. And this camera, I'm going to rename it default. And the second camera, I'm going to rename it shake. And I'm going to copy all the data from the default camera. Copy component, go to the shake, and paste component values. So we have the exact same camera. And the only difference is going to be that the shake camera is going to have a shake. So set up the settings. We're going to use a 6D shake. And for now, I'm just going to try 5 here and 0 0.5 here. If I click play, we don't have any kind of transition yet. So if I do this manually, if I click on shake and click on solo here, we can see what the camera shake is like. I think 0 0.05 might be the right number. 0 0.5 is too much. So this looks about right. And we have saved during play. So this data is going to be saved. Now all we got to do is transition between the shake camera and the default camera. Okay, let me exit play mode and set up the transition. I'm going to go to my Round Bear Games folder and create a new folder in there. I'll call it RB Camera. And inside, I'm going to create a new script called Camera Controller. Go in there, namespace. Save and go back to Unity. I'm going to create a, an empty object. I'll call it Camera Controller. And it's going to ha have that script, Camera Controller. I'm going to make it 000, zero, zero and drag it in to turn it into a prefab. Okay. And this Camera Controller is also going to have an animator. We're not going to use the animator to animate, but this is more going to be like a state machine. So inside the same folder, let me create an animator controller. Again, call it camera controller. And the animator is going to have access to the animation here. I'm going to go into the script, the camera controller. And it's going to have a private variable called animator. And other scripts will be able to find the animator. So I'll make it public. If the animator is null, then we find it from the same game object and get component. We're only going to do this once and then return that animator. Save and go back to Unity. I'm going to go to the camera controller animator, go to the animator window, and create two different states. One is going to be default, and the other state is going to be shake. I'm going to add some parameters, trigger. That's going to trigger the default camera and another trigger that's going to trigger the shake camera. I'm going to make the transitions. So from default to shake, we need the shake parameter or the trigger. And from shake to default, we need the default trigger. Okay, and we're just going to go back and forth. I'm now going to go to the state-driven camera, and this state-driven camera is going to 
always look at the camera controller. I'm going to drag it into the animated target. And here I'm going to add the states, new state. So whenever the camera controller goes into the default state, we switch to the default camera. And whenever it goes into the shake state, we go to the shake camera. And I want the transition time to be 0 0.25. I think 0 0.5 is too much, too long. I'm going to go back to the camera controller script and create some enums. Public enum camera trigger. First one is going to be default and the other one was shake. And inside this script, I'm going to create some public variables, things like trigger mm, camera. And this public function is going to take in the parameters of the camera trigger, trigger. And once this function is called, we just tell the animator to set the trigger. Set trigger. Now I'm going to go back to Unity, go to the managers folder. And I'm going to create a camera manager. Open it. Again. And this camera manager is going to hold the camera controller. And since it's a manager, it's going to be a singleton. And it's going to hold camera controller as a private variable. But as a public public ver variable, cam controller, we want to be able to find it. And we only want to do it once. If camera controller is null, then we find it from the hierarchy. Find object of type camera controller. and return that controller. I also want to be able to control how long a camera shake is. So I'm going to create an enumerator, call it cam shake, and it's going to take in the flow value as in seconds. And we're going to wait X amount of seconds. And then we're just going to tell the camera controller to trigger the default camera. Okay. So first, we start the shake camera. And then after X amount of seconds, we go back to the default camera. And we're going to be able to call this by accessing a public function called shake camera. Let me keep a routine here as a private variable. First, if there's any previous routines, we want to stop it. And then start a new one by using cam shake. Put in the seconds. And that's going to be the new routine. So whenever we want to shake the camera, we just call this function. I'm now going to press Control T, find the damage detector. Damage detector. This is when there's some kind of an impact. So I'm going to go down to take damage. And whenever someone takes damage, we want the camera manager to say shake camera. For now, let me try 0 0.25 seconds. Save everything and I want to go back to the animator. And I want each animator to have 
camera state script. Okay, let me go in there. Namespace. And I'm only going to use on state enter for this script. What I want to do is that whenever there's a camera state change, I want to be able to reset all the triggers. So first I'm going to have all the camera triggers. I'm going to find all, them, all of them by looking at the enum, get values. It's going to be the camera trigger. Okay, so now we have all the triggers. And for each of the trigger, we want to say camera manager reset the animator. I think it was called reset trigger. Okay. Let me go back to Unity. And I want the shake to have the camera state script also. And let me try click and play and see if it works. So whenever there's impact, hmm, there is camera shake. We're transitioning to the shake, but it looks like there's lag and we're not going back to the default state. So let me try to fix that. If I take a look at the camera controller, Okay, there shouldn't be any exit time. We want the transition to be immediate. So get rid of the exit time on both of the transitions. And let me try click and play again. We shouldn't have any lag this time. Okay, so the camera shakes for 0 0.25 seconds and then goes back to the default state. I think 0 0.25 is too short, so I'm gonna go back to the damage detector and maybe 0 0.35 shake. Let me see what it's like. Okay, I think it's all right. Maybe the transition here is too short. Let me try 0 0.3, maximize and play again. Okay, looks all right. We can always fine tune the numbers later. I'm happy that we got the basic mechanics working. Okay, looks good. That'll be it for today. I'll see you guys soon.